A grieving father gave a legislative commission plenty to think about this morning. He said his son died because the standard physical given to student athletes is not enough. The commission examining possible changes within the University Interscholastic League, especially concerning health. KXAN's Chris Adegui shows us how a simple $15 test could save the lives of high school athletes across Central Texas. Big. That's how Cody Stevens played. Big enough to earn a football scholarship at Tarleton State. And while watching the NFL draft in 2012, he told his father, Scott, that one day he'd be the one getting drafted, even if Scott tried to temper the big thinking. Cody, don't worry about that. Just go to Tarleton, try to start as a freshman, try to be all conference. Cody probably wouldn't have played foot college football. But Cody replied with words that now define both of their lives. Go big or go home, Dad. Ten days later, Cody sat in a recliner to take a nap and never woke up. Sudden cardiac death, never a sign of a problem. Those words resound in my mind. Go Big or Go Home is the name of the foundation Scott created. They've raised $300,000 to help administer 30,000 heart screenings to Texas high school student athletes. That's big, but not Cody Stevens big. Since Cody died, Scott Stevens has made it his mission that every student athlete get the heart screening that may have saved his son's life. To do so, he is going big here at the state capitol. I need help from Big Brother. That's why I'm here today. Stevens told the Sunset Advisory Committee a $15 electrocardiogram test should be required for all. We have a school physical. It's required. I want to enhance that school physical. Of the thousands of screenings provided by the foundation, he said nine resulted in heart surgeries. Nine lives potentially saved because of a father who took his son's advice. Every, every morning when I get out of bed, I look at that chair where he was sitting when he died, and it's empty. And I hear his words, go big or go home. From the state capitol, Chris Sadegui, KXAN News. An EKG test checks for problems with the electrical activity of your heart. A bill last session to require EKG tests for UIL athletes never made it out of committee. The bill's author says he will try again during next year's session. And we took a closer look at what athletes have to do now to get medical clearance to play UIL sports. The UIL requires all athletes to take a physical and to turn in a two-page form. This two-page form. The first page is a series of questions that the athlete and the parents have to answer, like, have you had any medical illnesses or injury? Have you ever been hospitalized? In fact, it covers several medical history factors, including questions about heart abnormalities and previous concussions. A doctor is supposed to fill out the second page after conducting a physical. This form calls for checking the heartbeat as well as looking for any physical abnormalities. And the more intensive heart test that could detect the risk for sudden cardiac arrest is not required. But some hospitals Hospitals and nonprofit groups offer that test for free. You have to sign up in advance, though, and we've posted a list of some of those free tests and when they're happening. That's online right now with this story on KXAN.com.